<laughs> we are back with Oshinoko's season finale. The good thing is the third season has already been, I think, announced or at least greenlit. But last episode was insane because Ruby found the dead body of Aqua's old self. Aqua's last body or Aqua's, Aqua's last life, past life, has been found. Dr. Goro, whatever his name is. The reason why Ruby became Icon, well, also because of I, but it was insane seeing his, his decayed body right there. Before we get into this heavy episode, man, like always, hit the subscribe button, like I'm a fan, and let's dive right into it. Okay, so she ended up, I guess, getting uh, questioned. I see Aqua in the back. Dang. He's able to see his past self. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's a that's an insane trip, bro. Oh, okay. She's ready to go, bro. She still has a sparkle in her eye, which is good. Body of a murder victim? Hell no, bro. He just, he just ended up dying because he fell off a, a cliff. What do you mean, find that dead body, bro? Huh? Is he about to unleash everything to her right now? What's going on? Dang. He seems in, in disbelief right now, bro. Yeah, that, okay, so the doctor, yeah, that man was the doctor to help conceive you, whatever she said, whatever it was. Whatever it was that he told her. First of all, dude, I don't care about this dialogue right now, but god dang, that nice guy looks so beautiful. What a sick ass, like, outlook. Say goodbye? Oh, they're breaking up officially. Well, not officially, but like they're. Dang, that's sad. That's sad. Dang, that hurts, bro. That hurts. No, they kind of really fell for each other, dude. Wow, I don't know, bro. I look, you want to stay together. Oh, wait, wait. Are they staying together? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god. Oh my I think I think they're staying together now. Well duh, but that's insane, bro. What? Damn, I feel so bad for Kana, bro. But low key, like, I don't know, it's so hard because they both have their such their good points, their major points and stuff. And there's some points where I like, like I like kind of more than Akane, but right now the Akane is just killing it, dude. Is she just, is she like having visions? What's going on with her? Oh, this girl, this girl, this girl. This girl is creepy, but how about, oh, uh, I guess she's like a, a crow? I don't know what the hell she is, but she's creepy, I'll tell you that. That's actually, that's horrible, bro. I would die. <laughs> it kind of seems so defeated, bro. She's... Her eyes going back to gleaming, bro. That's the dad, I'm guessing. So this was the guy. Wow. Wow. Now, is she gonna be off her revenge rather than Aqua? And this is gonna be an interesting little twist. Oh, I know, it's cold as hell. Yeah, I know, it's so cold, bro. The crow's back. Oh. She looks like, it looks like she's been crying or just really sleep deprived. Am I saying someone, her mom? That's who it is. She's gonna stand there? The film of the phones. So, it's probably the dad that planned all of this, bro. Now it's her. Oh my, what a little plot is going on, bro. It looks like. Ruby is gonna go for revenge right in Aqua. Oh, she's getting swallowed. Dang, bro, what? Now she got swallowed by darkness. Oh, hell no, that's creepy as hell. Cut the cameras, bro. I feel like her, I feel like her, her reasoning for taking her time on the second video might be because of what Ruby did at the, at the little river thing ever seen now nah, she's embarrassed <laughs> that's cute yeah true love girl this might be true love uh oh kana 
Okay, she's gonna star in a movie? Oh, let's go, Akane. Oh, oh I'll let you keep this reality dating show at? Girl, you gotta find out something's gonna hurt you, bro. Oh, it's the long reality dating romance? Look at that. Dang, Kana is distraught. Dang, now you can't just drop that bomb on Kana and just did, bro. She's gonna be so distraught. She might faint. Dang. Yeah, Kana is distraught. Kana's, yeah, she's cooked, bro. Kana's cooked. Bro, both her eyes have the dark. Whoa, no, that's, that's insane. Dude, I, this change that Aqua that Ruby had is crazy, bro. One, it's one, one twenty, twenty. One twenty, it's one twenty in the morning. <laughs> that's like a while. <laughs> cause any incidents. She don't. She don't want any scandals. I wonder what Ruby and Aqua's are. Uh, but little does she know that Aqua Loki gave up. Oh, they got the movie. I mean, the, the video. Music video. Very flashy. I like it. I like this music video so far. What? It's sick. Wait, that's how she used Ruby's scene. Hold up. I really like that music video. That was really entertaining. Significant attention? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. I wonder how many views it got though. Oh, six months? She's still distraught over that. Damn. Oh, second ending. Question mark. It's like right after you fell? Oh, no, that ain't... That isn't... That isn't... Who is that? Why they have the sparkle in their eyes? That's definitely the dad, bro. That's insane. Is he just a murderer? That was an insane ending to the season. Akane and Aqua are now dating. They uh, Bikumachi finished their their music videos. Two of them. One already released, got a lot of attention. The second one hasn't. I'm guessing six months have passed. Well, now I guess they've passed. Ruby is kind of taken over by by darkness, kind of what Aqua was. But Aqua kind of gave up because he, he thinks that his revenge is now over. That's why he started dating Akane because he said, All right, I'm now done with revenge. Now it's I just want to protect you. Little do they know, the dad is still alive. Ruby walked past the dad. Ruby is now kind of on the same plane of revenge. It kind of got flip flop where Ruby didn't know anything and was living like a great life and positive and positive aqua was so hung up on revenge wants revenge wants death wants to burn everything down and is living in such agony and pain but that kind of switched when ruby found aqua's past self's body now ruby is in pain she has the dark in her eyes and both eyes she wants revenge but not in the same way Aqua does, but she wants revenge. She just wants that revenge. She's distraught, dude. And their dad is basically a murderer. It seems like he planned every single murder. It feels like he, he planned Aqua's past. So Goro's death, Aqua's past life. Her mom's, their mom's death, I feel like he also planned. It's, and he just killed someone else at the end there, right? At the end right there too. And you saw all the crows in the back. So I wonder if that's the crows are also correlated in any way because of the little girl that kind of is controlled by the crows or controls the crows or is a crow possibly. Who knows, bro? But this is getting it's a stunner reach a climax. This is easy stunner reach a climax. Things are starting to intertwine little by little. And uh, there's going to be a, a snapping point in the future. But I'm excited to see what happens next. But for now, that is all I got. So like always hit the subscribe button, like comment, all the good stuff, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one.